Hey guys, so I think it's pretty safe to say that even today, more than 30 years after its release, Finasteride is the king of hair loss. Its main advantage is simply its effectiveness over time. Finasteride arrests hair loss in over 80 to 85% of men who take it. Unlike other treatments, resistance to its effects typically also takes years to develop, if ever. Many men will simply never become resistant or develop any partial resistance, which means for a lot of men, it will keep their hair for life. And that's in direct contrast to other treatments like minoxidil, which will typically lose effectiveness over time. Which brings us to its second main benefit, its ease of use. We know that finasteride can work indefinitely precisely because there are many men who take it on a lifetime basis. This is not the case with many other treatments, which aren't very practical and discontinuation after several months or even weeks typically happens. This all makes sense. There's no treatment as simple as popping a pill every morning. Add to that the low cost and wide availability of finasteride and you have a winner. Having said all this, finasteride is far from a perfect pill. Its main limitation is that while it's excellent at stopping further hair loss, it's actually quite poor at regrowing new hair in a lot of men. On average, 50% of users will see no growth whatsoever and another 30% can only expect minimal hair regrowth. This is the kind of improvement where you have to look carefully at before and after headshots to spot the difference. In other words, it's unlikely many people will notice much less common on an improvement in your hair. On average, you can expect to gain around 16 new hairs per centimeter squared in the balding parts of your scalp from finasteride. This is barely better than minoxidil 5%, which averages at 16 new hairs as well. But is there any way to boost the regrowing power of finasteride? Yes, there is. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to power up your finasteride stack in this video. Hair loss is a complex multifactorial condition. By combining treatments, you address more than one of the underlying causes and get better results because of it. Finasteride will effectively block most of the DHT in your system, reducing your blood DHT levels by around 70%. So you can tick that box off. Finasteride has got it under control. But what about the rest? We know today that DHT is not the only part of the hair loss story. One simple fact that proves DHT isn't the whole story, well, about half the men on finasteride won't regrow any hair and most of the rest will see minimal regrowth. And what about the fact that DHT levels usually decline into old age, whereas hair loss actually increases with age typically? So clearly hair loss in men isn't just about DHT. We know, for example, the balding scalps show decreased blood flow. The overall blood circulation in balding scalps is 2.6 times lower than that of healthy head scalps. And that these deficits in blood flow are especially marked in the areas of the scalp that are actively balding. We also know that there are extensive changes in the tissue surrounding the hair follicles, which gradually turns into fibrotic tissue that chokes out the follicles. That inflammation is far more common in balding scalp and that the more advanced the borders, the harder and tenser the scalp skin. All the finasteride in the world will do nothing for any of this. This is why you can't really expect to get any very exciting regrowth. But stack your finasteride with other complementary treatments and things really start to get interesting. The most common way to do this is with topical minoxidil. Finasteride blocks the DHT, minoxidil boosts the blood flow, the treatment becomes far more powerful because of it. So combining the two drugs more or less guarantees better results. It also doubles your chances of seeing substantial regrowth from around 15 to 30%. And since you're already spending time to apply a topical, why not try minoxidil with topical finasteride? It can be a good option for many men. Now, part of the problem with minoxidil is that the boost in blood flow is only temporary, lasting about an hour to an hour and a half after each application. It can also get messy, which is why many users don't stick to it for the long run. A new and interesting alternative that was recently studied is finasteride plus injections into the scalp. 
The injections loosen the muscles surrounding the scalp. The scalp relaxes and blood flow is unblocked, so to speak. The result being nearly 50% boost in regrowth compared to finasteride monotherapy. Quite an amazing increase in new hairs considering the scalp injections are only needed twice per year and the rest of the time you can simply forget about it. The amazing thing is these injections into the perimeter of the scalp relaxed the muscles and allowed more blood to flow into the top of the scalp. According to the researchers who pioneered this treatment of baldness, quote, the scalp behaves like a drum skin with tensioning muscles around the periphery. These muscle groups can create a tight scalp when chronically active. Because the blood supply to the scalp enters through the periphery, a reduction in blood flow would be most apparent at the distal ends of the vessels specifically the vertex and frontal peaks. The injections loosen the scalp, reducing pressure on the perforating vasculature, thereby increasing blood flow and oxygen concentration. There's one problem though, and that's the price tag of these injections. You can expect to pay upwards of $500 per session. And this is the simple reason the treatment has never become very popular at all. A far cheaper alternative for loosening the scalp and improving blood flow is scalp massage. Massaging your scalp with your bare hands will relax and gradually loosen up the scalp tissue and surrounding muscles. Around 70% of hair loss sufferers see improvement with this treatment on its own. The drawback of manual scalp massages is that they're hard work on your hands and shoulders. It takes around 36 hours of treatment to start seeing results, so you can imagine things get a little bit tedious. An alternative to just using your bare hands is a new device called the Grow Band. This new device sits around your head like a crown and with every inflation deflation cycle gently massages the entire scalp. You get more consistent results compared to manual scalp massages and because the treatment is so effortless, you are likely to stick with it for the long run. Add the grow band to your finasteride stack with or without other treatments and see your overall results likely improve significantly. Users are getting good results by the grow band alone, but since it works through a completely different mechanism than blocking DHT, combining these two treatments likely works very, very well. Combine finasteride, minoxidil microneedling and the grow band and you'll likely supercharge your hairy growth about as much as you possibly can do. Head over to hairguard.com to check out the latest version of the grow band pro, learn more about it and see the case studies for yourself. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe as it really helps improve the research we do and the videos we make. Please leave a comment if you've got any questions at all and I'll see you in the next video.